There is a common misconception that dead mains insertion is quicker than live mains insertion, but network feedback has proven that isn't the case. Live mains insertion, or LMI, can be quicker, more cost-effective, and more customer-friendly compared to dead mains insertion. The main benefits of live mains insertion are Two or three pushes can be carried out from one excavation, saving on the time and cost of backfill and reinstatement. Longer pushing lengths are achievable from one excavation, lessening the impact on road users and pedestrians. The customer's gas supply isn't interrupted while the host main is replaced, significantly reducing the time off gas when compared with dead mains insertion. Only one purge and relight is required, further increasing the convenience for the customer while simultaneously reducing the cost for the networks. Competent persons CPs, and authorizing engineers AEs, are only required on site for short periods during the insertion process, ensuring more efficient working practices. Services can be transferred in line with the size of the team and customer availability. Live mains insertion is more environmentally friendly as it reduces PE pipe wastage by using longer coils. There are also no wasted fittings, such as disposable top tees, which are often discarded with dead mains insertion. Live mains insertion is often used on ductile iron because of improvements in cutting technology, for example, our rapid window cutter. Stevix products have been certified and are fully compatible with a 100% hydrogen network. Live mains insertion works seamlessly with the Steve Vic FBOSS system, where the replacement scheme also includes a busy road junction. The live mains insertion utilizes the following equipment unique to Steve Vic gland box, live head, test end, smart tester, pipe handler, hexi trailer. An excavation is dug where the insertion is going to take place. This could be in the middle of a street or a road junction for a three-way push. The bypass, rider and flow stop equipment is connected. Once in place, a section of the main can be removed. The gland box is fitted to the gas main to be inserted and the purge rider is commissioned over the flow stopping bags. Prior to insertion, the coil is pressure tested to ensure there are no leaks. This can be achieved by fitting test ends and capturing pressure data with the smart tester. After the air has been safely released from the coil, the live head is attached to the leading end, ready for insertion. The live head allows gas from the network to flow into the PE and also helps to guide the PE during insertion. The live head is carefully pushed through the gland box until it is located just before the flow stop bags. The purge rider is now used to gas up the coil. At the tail end of the coil, two readings of 90% or more gas in air are required before the coil is ready for insertion. The flow stopping equipment can now be removed to allow the PE pipe to be fully inserted into the main. Using the pipe handler, the PE pipe is then pushed into the host main to the desired insertion length. Record the length of the pipe pushed in as it passes the gland box. This allows for ease of locating the live head or if there is an obstruction. Once fully inserted, the new PE main can then be tied back into the existing network. Transferring of services involves the following equipment unique to Steve Vick. Live end seal, insertion seal, applicator gun, reversible stand pipe, cracker jack, rapid window cutter. Excavate and transfer the planned number of services to be worked on. Depending on the network's preferred option, either an existing service hole is used or a new hole is drilled for the insertion seal foam kit and the reversible stand pipe is installed. A pressure point is attached downstream of the injection point and is used to ensure the foam kit has fully sealed the annulus. The foam kit is mixed as explained in the user instructions and is then pumped in using the applicator gun. Once any remaining foam in the mixing tub has risen and cured, the seal is checked to ensure it is gas tight and the annulus is safe to work on. The old main is then broken out using approved methods and the services can be renewed.
With the services transferred to the new PE main, the live end seal must be fitted. This can either be carried out immediately after the insertion seal is installed or at the end of the working day. When all the services have been transferred to the new PE main, the live head is removed and the process is complete.